guys, happy Wednesday. Today's pillar of the day is nutrition. Uh, we got a bunch of things we want to talk about. I'm going to kind of go a little bit high level. We can follow this conversation up in the comments um, as well as in future videos. So if there's more detail you want to go into, definitely hit us up in the comments. Uh, we can add more to the video later or as you'll see coming up, you can schedule some time, some one-on-one -on -one time with uh, one of our coaches to talk about some of this health coaching stuff. Uh, today, the main topic today is maintaining healthy habits at home. I know a lot of us are out of our usual schedule. Um, some of us might work in town and we have access to these really awesome salad bars and things like that that we've gotten into the routine of, of configuring really healthy meals and now we're at home. Maybe that's not the case. Uh, we also have a full fridge and cabinets of all other sorts of things that maybe you don't want to you know, be eating throughout the day. So let's chat about that a bit. So the first thing we'll talk about is eating habits. Um, so the one thing I will say is that if it's in the house, either you, someone you love, or moderately tolerate, moderately tolerate, will eat it, okay? So if it's not something you want to eat, get it out of the house. If it is something like uh, so what you would consider a cheat meal or something like that, set some boundaries around that, maybe put that in an area that's not so easy to access, it's not sitting out on the counter, all that kind of stuff. Um, going into healthy eating habits. A lot of us, the majority of the clients that I work with are trying to lean out or lose fat. A couple of the best ways to do that is to eat really slowly. Uh, if you go through the nutrition program with us, the very first habit we cover is eating slowly. The whole idea is it takes 20 minutes for your body to tell your brain that it's full. Uh, if you eat fast, in, you know, inevitably you're going to eat way too much food because you've eaten past your, your, um, your satiating, satiating point. So, eat slowly, number one. If you're trying to lose weight, eat until you're 80% full. So by eating slowly, you'll be able to continuously check in on your satiety. Am I actually physically hungry? Am I really hungry? Yes. Okay, eat a few more bites, check back in. You want to quit eating before you're full, um, preferably, especially if you're trying to lose weight, leave that plate when you're still feeling a little bit hungry. So eating slowly, being very mindful about what you're eating and how you're eating. Um, try not to eat when you're distracted, like watching TV or looking at the cell phone or anything like that. When we get you know, distracted, it's way too easy to eat too much. Um, healthy meals. What I really want to cover here is how to configure your meals. Uh, number one, shoot for nutrient density. So when you're when, when tasked with choosing between two foods, look at the nutrient density, like um, arugula or um, you know, kale has a lot more nutrient, uh, nutrients in it than, say, iceberg lettuce. So if given those two options, shoot for the one that has more nutrients in it. Configuring your meals also means making sure you have a high quality protein with every meal, a vegetable at every meal, high quality fats like olive oil, um, nuts, seeds, avocados, and um, high quality starches like rice, potatoes, things like that. So every time you configure a meal, try to get those, you know, those three main micronutrients plus the vegetable in there. So high quality protein, chicken, steak, eggs, things like that tofu if you're vegetarian, you know, beans, all that kind of stuff. High nutrient dense vegetables, high quality fats, and high quality starches. Um, the idea is that if we put all those things on the plate, we're getting, not only are we getting all our nutrients, but we'll probably be satiated longer and not feel like we have to eat right away again. Not too many times people eat, will make these meals and they have no protein in it. 30 minutes later, they're starving again. So they eat again, they eat again, they eat again. Make sure every meal has a good high quality protein in it. Uh, water, are you getting enough water? Ask yourself right now, how many ounces of water have you had today at this point? Um, realistically, we wanna be shooting like, an average adult wants to be getting at least eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. Probably more for most of us because we exercise a lot. Um, and as the seasons change, you know, just because it's cold out doesn't mean we need a lot of water. Uh, we still need a lot during the winter, but as um, you know, the elements change, if we're in the wind, if it's hot and all that kind of shit, you need even more water. Um, and snacking, a lot of people ask me about snacking. I look at snacking as a meal, it's just a small meal. When you're in the mood for a snack, ask yourself why do you want this snack? Is it because you're hungry? If so, that could mean that your previous meal was inadequate. Are you emotionally snacking or something like that? Because that's something worth digging into as well. Sometimes you just need a snack. You legitimately need a snack. When I put a snack together, I try to treat it like an actual meal, and I'll have a protein, a carb, and a fat in that meal, and try to get some nutrient-dense stuff in there, like berries or fruit or vegetable or something. So just treat it like a meal. It's just a lot smaller to tide you over the next big meal. 
Uh, again, thanks for listening. If you have questions or you have ideas on the next nutrition topic you'd like us to discuss, drop a note in there or send us a DM.